Hello. It is an absolutely stunning evening here in Boulder, Colorado. <clears throat> I am enjoying the quiet. I just kind of wanted to share it with you. I'm hanging out with my flowers. I love my flowers. <laughs> I have lots of flowers this year. And my trees. My favorite one of all. Well, I shouldn't probably say that because, you know, these guys are pretty awesome too. <laughs> but this one is amazing. And then there's the here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so one of the things I've been doing um, in the past few days is uh, putting my feet on the earth. Um, not that it's a new thing for me, but um, I, I actually am a flip-flop hiker. <laughs> so <laughs> people laugh at me because I love to hike in flip-flops. Like I don't really put shoes on unless it's cold. The only reason I would wear like actual shoes hiking is if it's cold. Otherwise I'm on rocks, I'm on, you know, whatever surface in my flops. Cause my feet love to be exposed. Um, and so I, I saw this beautiful, um, this beautiful documentary the other day. I posted it on my timeline, so if you want to check it out, um, it's scroll down on my timeline and you'll see it. I don't know, yesterday or the day before. Um, a documentary about earthing, um, and it's this amazing, amazing account of. Um, thank you, Ellen. You are too. <laughs> Um, this amazing account of like what occurs when people actually put their bodies on the earth um, and, uh, and like literally like our bare feet you know not just because shoes you watch watch the documentary if you want to hear the hear about it but basically the idea is that shoes really get in our way of of receiving from the earth and when we put our bare feet on the ground, which mine are right now, got my bare feet on the ground, um, <laughs> there's just this amazing, there's this amazing connection that we get to receive from the energy of the earth and the electrical energy of the earth and everything that that contributes to our bodies and how when our bodies are disconnected from the earth, um, through shoes and being inside and you know everywhere that we cover ourselves up um, our bodies are not they're not happy and and this causes a lot of inflammation I mean there's just all kinds of stuff about you know illness and inflammation that actually changes for people when they walk on the earth when they lay on the earth and there's earthing mats that you can get and stuff like that too so anyway I just wanted to share that because it's been really amazing for me and one of the things that has always been a deal for me is I I don't really like the winter like my body gets very stressed in the winter time and I realize that a part of that is because I actually really require to have that kind of communion with the earth um, and you know of course in the winter we're covered up and we're hunkered in and um, it's after many months of it, my body actually gets very stressed and I have to sort of like come out of hibernation every year, which I don't love. <laughs> so a move is in order at some point. Um, so anyway, but I wanted to share that because I wanted to, I wanted to talk, I wanted to share just the, the beauty of this. I just, I'm so grateful for 
this land and the silence here and the birds and um, all of these. I, I really just love my flowers. <laughs> I love my patio. Just so many beautiful flowers. Um, I love creating beauty. And, um, but, um, oh, you're welcome, Juliana. And, and actually like really check out the, check out the, um, the video because the documentary it's 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 over an hour it's about an hour and 20 minutes but it's amazing like the account of like the health changes that people have from inflammation and um um like you know all these autoimmune things and i mean there's it's really incredible the changes that people have from just putting their bare feet on the earth every day and i'll tell you my body hasn't felt as fabulous this fabulous in a long time um, as since I've been the past four days, this is my fourth day where I'm just, whether I'm walking, um, or just putting my feet on the grass here in my yard or whatever. Um, uh, so it's been, it's been a real gift to my body. Um, very healing actually. Um, and, um, these guys want to say hi. I love, these are yams. I love my backyard too. I'm so grateful. So these are yams. They just want to say hi. The daisies and the, um, all the, whatever else is in there and the yams. <laughs> anyway, um, so the whole sort of, here, we'll let these guys be in the background there. <laughs> they get really, they turn into this like cascade and they just get so beautiful. Um, this long and actually there's actually yams growing in there there's actual like you can harvest a little bitty yam at the end of the season <laughs> so um but um but gosh this planet is amazing you know and and there's so much there's so much going on right now you know there's so much craziness going on right now in the world and and in you know in the united states there's like a a cacophony. Um, I, I love that word. I think it's a really brilliant word. Um, that really just sort of describes the, um, you know, the noise, the noise level in, you know, all the stuff happening, you know, um, and this isn't a political, um, Facebook live, you know, <laughs> I tend to not do political discussions mostly because I don't, I'm not ever interested in debate because to me debate is just two people um, trying to prove the rightness of their point of view while, while having zero interest in having a different point of view. And that's a waste of words to me. I'm, I'd, I'd much rather have silence than debate. Um, so that's my, that's my thing. But what else is possible totally beyond all of this? And, um, and I actually, you know, it's been such a gift for me, this whole COVID thing and um, and the, um, I mean, not the COVID thing, but like this time has been such a gift for me. Um, and, um, you know, I know it's been a, it's created a lot of havoc in other people's lives and I'm not diminishing that by any means. Um, but for me, it's like, it's just been a real gift to have the space and the time and to see all the changes that are occurring in the world and with the planet and, um, and really like, it's almost like we're experiencing the world waking up and the planet, well, the planet's been awake, but the world waking up. And, you know, sometimes when we go through major change, I mean, you may have experienced this in your life where you go through a big change and, um, and you know, the shit that doesn't work, it has to fall away. It has to, there's some die off, you know, um, what isn't working, it, it has to, it has to atrophy and, and fall away. And it feels right now, like that's a lot of what's going on is, um, just that, you know, these, these things that are like, and it's not just, it's not just COVID it's the black lives matter and it's, you know, the police brutality and then the brutality against police to try to prove that police are wrong, but you're doing the same thing because you're brutalizing police. <laughs> like it's just, there's so many, different aspects of this whole conversation that, that really, um, that are just, you know, it's, it's, it's like the, you know, the explosion of, you know, what isn't working in the world, just dying off. And, um, 
so that people can actually get to a point really where they're fed up and they would like to have a different possibility. Um, and one of the things that I've seen so much and I, I just, I'm just having this like mega, I just love those yams. I got to put them back in the background again. <laughs> um, but I've had I, just so much gratitude today because, um, well, because I'm alive and this planet is amazing and I get to play with beautiful people. Um, but that was a part of it is today. I just, it was like moment after moment after zoom, after zoom, after zoom of just like people that are thriving, people that are having a blast in their lives are creating their su They're succeeding like never before they're experiencing, you know, cash flow like never before, which I always, money to me is really fun and I desire for everybody who desires it to have it. Um, so you can create, you know, beautiful things like these, you know, <laughs> like having land that includes these amazing trees and is at the bottom of the Garaki Mountains and, you know, um, and it's, it's just, it's like, so I just, I'm, I'm so happy to know so many people that are truly using this time to create and really, um, really like, you know, reap the, reap the beauty of everything that we have sort of invested and put into, to things because we are, you know, so many of us have been aware of these futures that like truly, um, just don't like are, are so far beyond, um, what most people are willing to perceive as a possibility. And, um, and the future is, the future is like, we've been creating a future for a long time. If you've been asking for something different, if you've been choosing different, you know, different things or whatever, we've been creating a different future for a long time. And now it's actually here, you guys, it's, it's showing up, you know, and, and as like all of these crazy things just bubble up and bubble up and bubble up and control and retaliation and oppression and then reaction against the oppression and oppression of the oppression. And, you know, there's just so many, um, so many things that really, um, you know, are, are like emerge, like boiling up to the surface to be just, you know, destroyed basically, you know, underneath all of that, like the beautiful energy underneath all of that is this energy of the earth and the energy of silence and the energy of possibility and the energy of creation and the energy of like actually it being our time, truly it being our time. And, you know, one of the things that, um, Dane here, who is one of the founders of access consciousness, he says this a lot that nothing ever shows up like you think it's going to. And this has been something that I just have sort of, you know, really, um, been living, living by like really, um, reminding myself of all the time because when, when something is actualizing, when it's, when it's coming to fruition, like when it's beginning to show up as a reality, um, it's, it's not very, it's very, very unlikely that it's going to look like you thought it was going to look. And what can happen is we, we, if we go into judgment and we don't stay in question, um, we basically, completely overlook and don't see and, you know, kind of or fail to, um, perceive and acknowledge and receive the, um, what is actually occurring. And right now, you know, I mean, the, what's happening in the United States, what's happening looks like a total shit show. Um, and I would say, you know, in the world to some degree as well. Um, and yet, what if that's not actually the case? Like, what if there's just so much that is, like the possibilities that are just exploding onto the, onto the scene in a way um, that allow us to be, to, to, like that it really are the actualization of a completely different reality that we've been working for, for, you know, not just decades, but like lifetimes, really truly lifetimes. And to me, it's like, 
the more energy I put there, the more I put my awareness there, the more I go, wow, this is amazing. You know, I mean, when I see crazy shit going on, do I wish for people to be engaging in crazy shit? No, I don't. Do I wish for people to be fighting? No, I don't. You know, do I wish to end that on the planet as a reality? Like the fight? Yes, 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 please. Yes, yes, yes. But it's never going to end because we're all going to agree on something. You know, um, we've been trying that model for thousands, you know, millions, billions, trillions of years, you know, um, t testing the model, this, this theory, you know, it really is just a theory that at some point everybody is going to agree. That's not going to happen. And yet the whole system of politics and government and, you know, all these different things, it's like it, 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 like the, you know, like peace, according to all of those, like to, to this reality, how it currently is, right? How it currently is organized. Peace is, um, is as a, as a peace, like there is such a thing as peace, but it's not what a lot of us think peace is. Peace to so many people in the world is everybody agreeing on something. But guys, we're all different, you know? We're so different. And we're not gonna agree on the same thing. And guess what? That's not wrong. It's not wrong. It's not wrong for us to disagree. It's not wrong for me to have a different opinion or a different awareness about something than you. It's not wrong for you know people to have opposing points of view. It's not wrong. And and what if we could actually honor that? What if we could honor each other and not try to create this this thing that is never going to be created, which is the fantasy of peace, which basically the only way it can be achieved is if we all agree. We're not ever going to all agree. And I don't want to live in a world where we all agree. I want to live in a world where everybody has a different point of view. Everybody has a different awareness and everybody is honored for their point of view and their awareness. So I'm not interested in the peace that is the distraction of peace, that is the lie of peace, that is the version of peace where if you all just agree with me, we'll be peaceful. Or if we all just agree with you, we'll be peaceful. We have proven to ourselves time and time again that that's not going to happen. So what else is possible? And we have to actually jump tracks and acknowledge, I would say, that we already have to a different reality where that's not required. That's, that version of peace is outdated. We have a new operating system, <laughs> you know? And time to upgrade. Time to get into the honoring of each other and the honoring of ourselves, the honoring of the earth, the honoring of our bodies, the honoring of the possibilities that are showing up right now. And when I tap into this, it's here. The earth has known this all along. And we are actually not these foreign creatures walking upon the earth. We are part of it. We are part of it. Which is why when you put your feet on the earth, your body begins to sing. because it's an acknowledgement that your body is a part of the body of the earth. And when we allow ourselves to be that big and that potent and that amazing and that much of a gift and that much space, there's no need for any rightness or wrongness. 
for me to be right, you to be wrong, you to be right, me to be wrong. The earth doesn't give a fuck about that. So in the cacophony of the right and wrong, in the cacophony of the conflict, in the cacophony of judgment that is rearing its ugly head right now, and I would say, I do dare say, on its way out right now in a very ugly fashion but it's, it's showing us, like we're, we are showing ourselves that judgment as a reality is not a sustainable reality if we actually desire to continue to live and thrive on this planet. You know, you, there's, this, there's this crazy stuff going on in Seattle where I, you know, live part-time where an entire group of people has taken over this six block or whatever radius of downtown Seattle and Capitol Hill, and they are declaring themselves an autonomous zone, you know? And there's this whole, I mean, it's, it's, it's fascinating to follow it because they're all now, like they, they declared themselves a cop-free co-op. Like they declared themselves this zone that is you know free of free of police and the police are bad and you know and yet you see these videos and they're all walking around with guns <laughs> you know and it's like there's when you fight when you fight you fight it doesn't matter what side you're on when you fight you fight the earth doesn't fight So what if we could be more like what we actually are? More like the earth. Less points of view. Greater communion. And a sense of jumping tracks to something completely different. That actually has space and possibilities and an invitation for everybody. You know, you look at these, my flowers that I love, and like, you know, there's all these different flowers here. So many different kinds of flowers, petunias and daisies and vinca and ivy and succulents and yams, the yams right there, you know? And it's like, how beautiful they are all together how beautiful they are together as this like symphony of possibilities and contribution and beauty you know we can be like that guys we can but we can't we have to get out of the polarity and the fight anything that you fight you perpetuate anything that you fight you perpetuate you perpetuate the very thing that you're fighting by fighting it And you create, a, you create a world where there isn't possibility beyond the fight. What else is possible? What else is possible? So thank you guys for being here with me. Now we're in the future. And I really do wonder what else, what else, what else? I'm going to be doing a summer solstice celebration this coming Sunday. That is a, it's a one-off, um, a one-time Zoom call. And it's called Earth, Body, and Evolution. And I'm 
really excited about it. We just created it last night and it's not even up yet, so I can't even give you a link, but I can invite you. And I can put, pop the link in here in the comments when, I'm, when it's up. Um, but let's, yeah, what else can we create? Thank you, Juliana, truly. What else can we create? What else can we be? What else can we choose? It's our time, you guys. Thank you for receiving. Thank you, Vicki. Thank you guys for receiving and really thank you for being you. Really, thank you. You, you don't have any idea, none of us really do, how much of a contribution we are by just being you and asking for something different. You, you have no idea. Um, and what would it take for us to actually really know that and live that? How much of a gift and a contribution you are just by waking up in the morning and asking for a different reality on the planet. It's our time. So let's go. Let's play. Let's enjoy. Let's honor each other. Let's thrive. It is time like it has never been before. So how much fun can we have?